Hi, I'm George, and in this Photoshop Elements project, we'll be doing this old-fashioned postcard effect. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to click on share and subscribe as well. When you subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. And if you really want to learn how to use Photoshop Elements, check out my complete training course. There's a link for that right down there in the description. All right, let's get to it. For this project, we'll be using this picture as a base and then using this background picture and also this picture of some ivy right here as well. There's a link to download all of these in the description. And let's go ahead and we'll start over here. Now the first thing we need to do is to make a black and white line drawing effect with this. And we'll start that by making a duplicate of the background. Just right click where it says background, choose duplicate layer and OK. There we go. Now. Let's convert this into just a black and white. And what you want is a nice high contrast. So I'll go up here to Enhance, come down to Convert to Black and White. And I found that Newspaper gives us the nicest effect. There's Infrared, it's a little bit darker. And then Newspaper is just a bit brighter, more kind of a line effect in there. And then the rest of these are just a bit too dark for that. So Newspaper is the one I used, choose OK. There it is, just kind of a straight black and white image. Let's now make a duplicate of this layer. Right click and duplicate again. There we go. Let's invert this one so it's a negative and you do that up here under filter, come down to adjustments and invert and there's a negative. So we have a negative and a positive. We're now going to blend these two together with a slight offset. Now go up here to the blend modes right there and come down to the mode color dodge and there it is right there. Click on that and you'll get this kind of all white effect. You'll see a few spots in there, that's fine. But it's merging these two together with a color dodge effect. Now we still have the same image in here. All we need to do is just offset this top one just by a little bit in order to get our line effect. And we'll do that with another filter. Go up to filter, come down to other. And on this one, you want to come down to the minimum right there. And this just offsets things. It, it kind of squeezes the lines in a little bit. Now there are different options in here on the radius. There's a radius of one. If I bring it up, you can see there's four, there's six. The further you go, the darker the image is going to be. And it'll have just a different quality to it. Notice you can go about so far and then it doesn't really do anything. So all the effect is gonna be down here at the lower end. I'm setting mine at just a four. So it retains a nice line drawing or ink drawing effect to it. If you go up too far, it begins looking like a pencil drawing possibly or a charcoal drawing. So just real low setting, keep that at four, and there's our line drawing effect. Okay, now I want to combine all this stuff into a brand new layer. And we do that with a keyboard shortcut. It's a special shortcut. Hold the Shift and Control and Alt keys down all at the same time, and then tap on the E key. And what that does is it merges everything that's visible up onto a new layer up there. You can now hide all this stuff. We're done with all of those. And here's our new layer right there. Kind of a, an ink drawing or almost an engraving version of that picture. Okay, now we're going to bring in our text image right down here. You can just drag it in. I'm currently here inside of the photo bin. I just drag that in. You can then resize this to fit. Just grab the side control handles here. I'm just going to stretch this out so it's just the right size to fit onto that picture. There we go. And then hit the green check mark. Okay, now take this and pull it underneath of that castle effect right there. So it's the basically the new background layer. Now let's also put a vignette on this. I'm gonna hide this top layer just for a second so you can see that layer, there it is. Let's put a vignetting effect, kind of darkening the edges in here. Go up to Filter, come down to Correct Camera Distortion. Now, when we pulled this in, it came in as a smart layer. But if you see this, just choose OK, and it converts that to a regular layer. In here, right here it says Vignette and Amount and Darken. Just pull this clear to the left-hand side. That just darkens the outer edges, and then choose OK. There we are. Okay, let's bring our castle back in again. We now need to blend the castle into our new text background. And we'll do that with Multiply, and that's right down there. It just kind of blends those two together, just adds them together. Let's now make a copy of this layer here. Right click and duplicate, so we have a copy of that castle. 
you now have two castles on top. Notice by stacking those, it gets richer. You can see right there, if I show and hide, it's a stronger effect. Now, I only want to have the strong effect in the middle in here, and I want it to go thinner or lighter on the outside edge, and we'll do that with a layer mask. So we're still on our top layer here. Hit the layer mask button. Now with layer mask, black hides, white shows. So everything is showing right now because it's white. So let's grab our paintbrush. I have black as my foreground color. I have a pretty good size brush here. It's 150 pixels soft edge. I'm on the layer mask side. Look for that light blue outline. You should already be there. And then just come out and paint around the outside stuff like this. Just that tree and around in here a little bit. Just kind of coming in and doing this around the outside. So all I'm doing is I'm letting it go lighter towards the outside and it gets darker towards the middle area. Just kind of helps to focus on that middle section. So pretty easy as you can see there. Just a bit of a painting around like that with black on that layer mask. Okay, for the next trick, let's go back to the photo bin and I'll grab this picture of Ivy right here. Just kind of an Ivy picture. There's our original. Now just click and drag but don't look over your mouse. That way you can actually do that drag and drop just like that. Same thing. I'm just going to stretch this out until it fits the picture. There we go. And choose OK. So we have our ivy above everything else. Let's now convert this to black and white. Same trick as before. Go up to Enhance. Come down to Convert to Black and White. Choose OK. Choose Newspaper. And OK. There's that black and white. We're just using this to add in some additional texture onto the picture. So we're going to blend this in to everything else, but first I want to again put a vignette on this one. So filter, correct camera distortion, and where it says vignette, go clear to the left on that one to darken, and choose OK. All right, now we need to blend this into the background images. So back up to our blend modes, and this time we're going to be coming down here and doing soft light. That just kind of blends it in. See, I have that texture now in here. So I have some texture in here, and we have our text up in there, adding an interesting look. Looks interesting down here, but it's too much around the middle where the castle is. So we're going to fix that and do that same trick again with adding a layer mask right here. And then we'll use the black paint again. Same brush size, same black. And this time, double check that you're on your layer mask. Look for that light blue outline. And then there's paint in here right around the parts that you don't want to have that texture on, I'll just come in and paint right around the middle part of the picture. Just like that, just a bit in there, just kind of removes some of that texture in there. And I'll leave the texture everywhere else. So it adds a lot of texture in here, that's fine. Up in here, that's fine. And just removes it in that middle section. Okay, now we can come in and add in some adjustments on this thing. We're still on the top layer, as you can see right there. Go up to Layer, come down to New Adjustment Layer and Levels. Where it says use previous layer, don't check that. I want this affecting everything in the picture. And now we can come in here and actually just move the controls in. Go to the right a little bit down here. And that darkens the image down a little bit. Pull the right side in a little bit. And we can adjust the middle in here a bit. And it's just making it more contrasty. Now the numbers that I actually use to want to type these in. I used 20 on the black. I used 1. 1.6 for the midtones, and on the white side I used 217. And that just adds in contrast. Let me just show and hide that there, just before and after, just make it a bit brighter and a bit more contrasty, and close that one down. And we're now going to add some color onto this, and we'll do that with a gradient map. Same thing, layer, new adjustment layer, this time go for the gradient map right here. Don't check that checkbox. Choose OK. Click on your gradient and then choose that one right there. It's kind of a purple to orange. They say violet to orange. And that does that to the image and choose OK. Now obviously it's far too strong. So you need to bring the opacity up here down on this. You can just type it in up here. I use an opacity of 30. And it just adds just a bit of orange in here and just a little bit of that violet onto the blacks. And puts in some nice color. Here's the before and after. There it is. And then we'll go one step further on this to finish this off, and that's to remove some of that from the middle, giving us a gradient of low color in the middle and full color on the outside edges. And that's, again, on the layer mask right here. This time, we want to be using a gradient. That's that gradient button right there. 
make sure you're set at the foreground and background. Just click on that if you're not seeing that in upper left hand corner right there. Choose OK at your foreground and background. Grab the radial gradient right here. Then just click in the middle and pull towards a corner and let go. And there we go. What that does is it hides that orange effect in the middle and then fades it out to full orange color on the outside edges. And there we go. There's our kind of an old fashioned engraved postcard effect. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also, make sure you click on the share button and the subscribe button as well. And to really learn how to use Photoshop Elements, check out my complete course. And there's a link for that right down there in the description. Okay, and I'll see you next time.